Oh yeah, I've been playing guitar for twenty some odd years. A little longer well, than that, I think, actually. And well, that's Satan. Sorry, I was talking over you. Oh yeah, I've been playing guitar for um, no, I wanted some odd to years. say, should I turn my camera on? Longer than that, I think, actually. It is not required. It is entirely well, that's Satan. Sorry, I was talking over you. Oh yeah. I've been playing guitar for ridiculous. Um, no, I wanted to say, should I turn my camera on? Longer than that, I think, actually. It, it is not required. It is entirely well, that's Satan. Sorry, I was talking over you. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been playing guitar for ridiculous. No, I wanted to say, should I turn my camera on? Longer than that, I think, actually. It is not required. It is entirely well, that's Satan. Sorry, I was talking over you. Oh yeah. I've been playing guitar for ridiculous. No, I wanted to say, should I turn my camera on? Longer than that, I think, actually. It is not required. I'm trying to figure out how to turn on my camera. Um, yeah, I, I are you found on, it. Are you on? Yeah, are you on mobile or on PC? I know how. It's just my. Uh. Um. Okay. And on camera. Ah. Looks like it's trying to come on. There you are. Hello. 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 Nice. Well, you don't look very you you don't look really evil. Where's the horse? <laughs> <laughs> This is all an illusion. Oh, okay, I get it now. The Lord alive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four um, minutes until I hit the announcement. I was... Um, while... Um, just, I was organizing my notes. I'm just uh, gonna finish organizing my notes. Please. Okay, um, take your time. You got four minutes until I even announce <coughs> this thing. Okay, but uh, my uh, Wi-Fi is just... Um, oh, sorry, not my Wi-Fi. My PC is glitching. or well, not glitching. Um, in Afrikaans, we call it hack. Um, uh, lag. And, and this is why I don't have my, my camera because I am backlit right now and I look like somebody in one of those police videos where they're trying to hide their identity. I mean, I chose this location because it's probably the most beautiful location on the farm. See? Well, it's somewhere in South Africa now, right? Yeah, um, I'm... Almost at the northernmost part of South Africa. Because it is, what, 30-something degrees here today? <laughs> it's not nice. Yeah, that's uh, normal temperatures. Two more minutes. It's going to be a long two minutes, I'll bet you. Okay, um... Satan, do you play any musical you see, instruments? I... Me? Yeah. Um... No, not really. I okay. tried learning piano, I tried learning guitar. Guitar hurt my fingers too much. Um, but my fingers are long enough for piano. Uh, my, my mom says I got it from my great grandfather, who's uh, who I'm named after. And yeah, but I've never done music because it's too confusing for me. Um, it's too distracting, and uh, someone with ADHD is hard for me. I see. Okay. Um, Two more minutes, jeez. Um, there's yeah, a... Long, long two minutes. 
Hmm. Shoot. Got to get back to the channel before this starts. So hold on. Don't anybody start without me. Why didn't I have this done ahead of time? Do we already know who's, uh, who will be the first with the, the open statement or it will be known uh, when the event um, is I, I, Well, I have, it, I have it set up. Well, I have it set up that Satan is going first because he's making the claim. Okay, makes sense. Yes, I mean... I mean, like, uh, the person who made a statement, that's me, is usually the person who's going first, the affirmative. Aha, uh -huh, I see, okay. All right, so I, I, I am, I'm going to make the announcement now, and if anybody, if any, uh, if the other staff would like to drop an invite, I'd appreciate it, because I'm going to click start, and I'm going to hit record. So, hold on, give me one second here. Now. Now it's moving out. Okay, guys, I'm going to hit start recording and I'm going to start with my script. Here we go. Oh, it's okay if I read my opening statement. You can you can open your you can read your opening statement as soon as I finish my little opening statement. Yeah, All right, so, but hey, everyone. If I, if I read it off instead of like saying out yes. of my mind. Yes. You can read it off. We are fine with that. All right, so here we go. Hey, everyone, welcome to Let's Debate. I'm Let's Farm. I'll be your moderator for this debate. Our topic today is genetic manipulation is wrong, and this promises to be an excellent debate. We have Satan arguing that genetic manipulation is wrong, and on the other side, we have Voidnell bringing the opposition. We will be having up to a 10 minute opening per side. 45 minutes of open dialogue if required, and a short closing statement followed by audience questions. Remember to tag the moderators with your questions for our debaters. Little reminder to attack the argument and not the debaters or each other. Now, since you are not here to listen to me ramble on, let's get to the show. Satan is going first. You have 10 minutes if needed. Your time starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, Genetic manipulation is a powerful technology that has the potential to change the course of human history. However, with great power comes great responsibility, and it is clear to me that we have not yet taken the necessary steps to ensure that this technology is used in a safe and ethical manner. The consequences of mishandling genetic manipulation could be dire, from exasperation Exasper uh, exacerbating existing social inequalities to creating entirely new forms of discrimination. It is our responsibility as a society to ensure that this technology is used for the betterment of all, not just a select few. For these reasons, I firmly believe that genetic manipulation is wrong and should be sub subject to strict regulation at minimum. Is that your opening statement? Are you done? Yes. All right. Thank you for that opening statement, Satan. And we will now turn to Voidno for their opening. Take it away, Voidno. Mike is now yours. Yeah, I have my much larger opening statements uh, written down here. So, okay. Hello, I'm Dmitry. I have a degree in physics and right now I work in IT. Um, and here is my opinion statement. Uh, I lost audio. Sorry? I can hear you. Can else hear Void now? Uh, do you hear me well? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Yep, I can hear yes. it. I can hear you. I can hear everybody. Okay, I will just continue. <laughs> Feel free to stop me. Okay, I got my audio back. It may have been me. You continue, please. Okay. Um, my opponent claims that genetic manipulation is wrong. And this is... Uh, well, uh, this is the reason why I, why I joined this debate. Uh, 
Uh, I'm here to, today to state that genetic modification is just a technology and it couldn't be neither wrong or right. Uh, it's like a hammer, uh, which could be used to build a house or to hurt people. Or it's like physics, which could be used to drastically improve our lives or to create nuclear we weapons. Uh, so I'd, I'd argue that genetic manipulation is not wrong per se. And in this context, only human intentions could be wrong. Uh, I actually used to see that conservatives uh, claim various progress is wrong. And uh, when they have no hard proofs, they tend to weave web of conspiracies. Uh, while I believe that gen genetic modification of food is already well proven to be an extremely useful tool for the humanity, and even more controversial genetic modification of people uh, themselves is still something that humanity should research. As for the genetic modification of food, I see the next main ideas my opponent may use. Uh, state obvious risks which actually not specific to GMO, uh, remind us about necessity of biodiversity or refer to some unreliable misleading information. Uh, so to address all of that, I'm going to uh, remind that uh, the risks are not specific to GMO, uh, but to like capitalism or other traits of uh, modern human society in general. A decrease in biodiversity is not a property of GMO, but farming practices in general, and moreover, GMO uh, technologies opens a lot of opportunities to mitigate uh, these risks and enrich our biodiversity. And as for unreliable bits of information, let's just stop on one of them analyze and, and analyze in detail. So, okay, now about uh, genetic modification of people. I recognize that here, is a much greater risk of slippery slope. The main reason of that is that in this case, object and subject are the same entity. Thus, uh, there is a possibility to kick off some destructive positive feedback loop in result of which uh, there will be nobody left to fix the mistakes. But genetic modification is just a technology. To cure cancer, HIV, as genetic and non-genetic diseases, aging, obesity, adapting to do space travel and do a lot of other unimaginable goods. Uh, the same way, physics is not bad or wrong just because in the, it enabled somebody like Putin to threat the whole world with nuclear extermination. Um, we already do indirect uh, genetic engineering of animals and even people. We were breeding different... Uh, oh. uh, um, they connected. Sorry, uh, oh. it looks like my Discord ca crashed. Um, might be a problem. And uh, it where, happened. Where I stopped, sorry. Uh, uh, what was my last uh, thought uh, you he heard? Something about the feedback loop? Ah, yes. Okay. Um, Okay, I will just continue here. Thus, uh, there is a possibility to kick off uh, some destructive positive feedback loop, in the result of which there will be nobody left to fix the mistakes. But again, genetic modification is just a technology which could be used to create a dystopia or to cure cancer, HIV, herpes, various genetic and non-genetic diseases, aging, obesity, uh, uh, absent people to do far space travel and do a lot of other unimaginable good stuff. Uh, the same way physics is not bad or wrong just because it enabled somebody like Putin to threat the whole world with nuclear extermination. Um, we already do uh, indirect genetic engineering of animals and even people. We were breeding uh, different animals for thousands of years. And nowadays we prevent various genetic uh, diseases in babies. Uh, but with this, the, with this research in genetic engineering, we will finally understand how that works. And with more knowledge we have, less mistakes we do, and more precisely we mitigate any risks. Uh, we have even already do treat infertility through genetic, uh, genetic engineering, and the, the world haven't exploited because of that. If we talk about social inequality, then again, this is a common problem. 
uh, and not limited by gene uh, genetic engineering. For example, right now, not everybody can afford an in vitro fertilization. Thus, uh, we may say that some people are more privileged to have children than others. Uh, this is a property of how we as people treat each other and not uh, really a problem of genetic engineering itself. Uh, so I'd love to have uh, some the day in other debates about uh, social inequality in general, but today the topic is uh, if genetic engineering is wrong. If my opponent wants to argue that we need to uh, just in case declare genetic modification uh, wrong to avoid possible risks, I'd say that genetic modification is the future no matter what. A CRISPR is only the beginning, but it is already a way to available technology. Uh, we have like biohackers all, all, all over the world. Uh, we may claim it is wrong or not, but as any other inevitable f progress, uh, which was initially discarded by some conservative people, I'm pretty sure that genetic modification will permeate our society in coming decades. So our focus should be not on rejecting genetic uh, per se, but on developing ethics and legislation to mitigate risks and extract the benefits from it. Uh, and any arguments like it destroys a usual way of life or and the essence of what human is, I think are obviously morally true, uh, too presuppositioned, and moreover are just naive. Any human, oh, any animal on earth is always exposed to random mutations, while the vast majority of these mutations are degrading ones. On top of that, uh, there is also a sex selection which drives persistent evolution. So human always change anyway. Um, even right now, uh, in developed countries, we already terminate almost all pregnancies if a Down syndrome is suspected. So in current reality, the question here basically is only about how many parameters we want to choose from and how precise we want to be. Uh, and more knowledge we have, more inf uh, informative decisions we can do to avoid possible risks. I think we should embrace the genetic modification research even for people. Overall, I agree that ultimately uh, genetic modification of people is a complex and nuanced issue and should be approached with caution. But because of that, I believe it should be the right thing to do to invest into public research in this area, to be able to uh, proper ethics uh, and uh, law framework to extract the benefits and mitigate the risks of inevitable um, future. My English is terrible. Uh, but I'm not a specialist in this area, and quite probably I just do not know how actually genetic modification is. So I'm happy to learn new things today, and I I'm thank you for uh, the opportunity to participate in this debate. That's it. Awesome. Thank you, Boyd, Boyd Nil, for your opening. We will now move into the open dialogue where our debaters will have up to 45 minutes to cross examine each other. Talk amongst yourselves, debaters. Okay, um, just let me uh, open my notes. I have my notes here. I would like to uh, address some concerns that uh, you raised about the potential benefits of genetic manipulation. While it is true that this technology has the potential to cure diseases and improve human health, it is important to remember that there are also risks involved. For example, there is the risk of creating unintended side effects, as well as the possibility of exasperating existing social inequalities if the technology is not regulated like it can i know there is already uh, like discrimination and racism but uh, genetic modification can accentuate that and um, make it worse and uh, what do you think about what that what do you say about that well i, I don't really understand what exactly do you propose you propose like to make any uh work in this area illegal or what exactly do you propose I'm what do, not do you mean saying by wrong? make I'm not saying make things illegal I'm saying like uh, regulate it uh, so that uh, it's not as available to the public um, like you shouldn't be able to 
change your hair color for instance at will that's just stupid um okay um so, sorry sorry my debate is degracing i'm regressing i'm i lost my notes uh, i'm just finding them again but continue Um, your sound is off. Void new, your mic. Okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I, I'm curious. Why do you say uh, genetic manipulation is wrong if you say that uh, we should preserve it uh, in some regulated way? I mean, like, it's wrong for humans to uh, modify themselves. Do you think like... it's wrong for scientists to modify humans? Like, if they find a way that's totally safe, I mean, like, totally safe, because, um, like, it's probably never gonna be safe. Like, science, like, if I change my genes to say I'm immune to cancer, that can actually they, uh, make that I um, more susceptible to cancer uh, uh, than other people accidentally either that or say it makes me immune to cancer um, then technically I'm not human I'll put that in uh, quotes because um, I'm then a modified I think I will. I, I, I don't hear my opponent. Uh, okay. He lost that, lost his uh, connection or something. Yeah, we need to work more on our technical, uh, like, uh, stuff to, to avoid this next time. Looks like mine froze now. Oh no, it's moving. Okay, I, I will just say something uh, like while we wait waiting. So, um, in my mind, if we say that something is wrong, uh, like universally as it was claimed, then we should discourage it everywhere. But if we say that uh, research are fine, then uh, it not the same thing as say that genetic manipulation is wrong uh, and uh, I, I think it's pretty obvious that as any uh, major technology this one should be regulated so um, yeah I, I need to find uh, where exactly what exactly this is wrong means to, to, to be able to address more specifically our differences uh, on this. And I, I suppose that this is that time period when Satan said that they were doing the rolling blackouts and that he would have to wait until the solar panels kicked in. Ah, yes. Yeah, everybody who is listening to this, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a Oh, I see there is a person who wants to debate it's wrong uh, in chat. Uh, he's saying because it's changing God's creation. Uh, but as I said, every, every creation changes all the time. And we... Sorry. Sorry? Ah, yeah. Um, you are sorry. Back. Hello. Um, my, uh, the power went off uh, loud cheering. We 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 uh, just mentioned that. Yeah, that's fine. No worries. Um, 
Um, um, but we have uh, we have uh, inverter running for the Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, I was trying to understand what exactly means when you say is wrong, because you do permit uh, this research I in science. So how it could be at the same time wrong and permitted somewhere? Well, it. Uh, I think it uh, should be subject to strict regulation. Hello? Yes, I agree. Um, as any technology, basically. Um, hello? Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Ah, okay. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, the problem is, I agree uh, that genetic uh, manipulation should be regulated. Uh, so we don't have like difference in our views here, and I'm trying to find it. Uh, so uh, how much do you think it should be regulated? So, for example, right now in, uh, I, I heard in the US there are bi biohackers who use CRISPR to change their own DNA. Do you want to forbid them to do so, and why? Uh, I have hackers to modify their own DNA um, for in the uh, like at least um, and then some other restrictions uh, sorry I had to look up my notes An independent oversight committee like um, deciding uh, what can be done and what shouldn't be done for uh, and that's just one of my ideas for regulation hello Is yeah hello i hear you there okay <clears throat> yeah this will change to increase intelligence or strong heart and lungs um that can be done without genetics what could be done without genetics? Sorry, say again. Um, sorry, uh, Truth Slayer said, uh, what about a uh, uh, change to increase intelligence or strong heart and lungs? Chat. And I said that that could ah. be done without uh, using genetics, genetic modifications. Uh, how? Like, I mean, a stronger heart, um, a heart transplant. Like, I mean, genetic modification isn't really cheaper than a heart transplant. No, genetic modification is pretty cheap. Uh, CRISPR uh, allows basically anybody to do uh, genetic modification basically for free. So... Uh, and like, uh, I'm curious, where do you think is the boundary of where uh, genetic modification can go to, even through, uh, e even if all the regulation is in place, oversight committee is on, in place, where, where do you think the boundary of what we are allowed to do with all, ourselves? Um, well, The use of genetic manipulation to prevent uh, passing on genetic disorders and diseases, um, like designer babies, that shouldn't happen. I mean, uh, I heard your uh, thing about um, fertilization, but that's a different story than modifying a baby. And uh, you also said that technology is a tool that can be uh, used and uh, a tool is not necessarily evil. But I mean a uh, tool like I'm gonna compare genetic modification to an atomic bomb. <clears throat> Uh, 
Okay, so uh, hear what I'm saying. just to find a point of conflict between our point of views, uh, I actually think that uh, there is no limitations on uh, how humans could be changed. And this is a right thing to do. Uh, I mean, gradually to improve humans, uh, to make them... Uh, a few seconds. To make them... Another post- thing... Sorry? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, to, sorry, to, to make them uh, possible to like colonize the whole galaxy or whatnot. Uh, so, um, and I understand you have limitations. That's correct. Yes, uh, genetic manipulation could lead to unintended consequences, such as the creation of new diseases or disorders. I found the note I was looking for. Um, okay, but, uh, you know, uh, it's like with the uh, food GMO. Uh, in food GMO, people uh, used to believe that uh, GMO is much more, uh, like, uh, riskier than so-called natural food. But in the end of the day, uh, GMO goes through a lot of uh, tests and evaluations before it is permitted uh, to the market. And thus, it is usually much, much, much safer than what is called uh, natural food. Uh, I think that pretty similar but, phenomena can uh, happen with the uh, designer babies. Why not? I mean... I'm okay. I'm okay with GMOs. Okay. Um, so... We're not gonna. Deb- uh, we don't have to debate that. Okay. Uh, I'm saying. Um, but humans are completely different thing, um, and there is a difference between man and fix all of us socially and um, biologically. GMOs only um, are any of you hearing me? Yeah, 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 I hear you. Okay, because my screen is freezing. So I'm assume I assume that no one is hearing. We, I can, I can hear you quite well. Uh, just to understand, uh, do you okay. think that genetic manipulation of uh, monkeys is wrong? Uh, genetic manipulation of monkeys um, depends on how you uh, what there has to be regulations in place for that like any kind of uh, animal experimentation um, there has to be stuff in place for that so um, I'm still trying to how differs uh, so let's say there is food plants there is monkeys and there is humans uh, so, uh, how differs the regulations for each of them? I mean, how f- uh, differs the regulation bet- for monkeys and for uh, plants in in your vol- world view? Oh, looks like he froze on my end. Yeah, on my also. We'll give him a minute, see if it comes back. That whole power shedding thing in South Africa, that's got to be a pain in the butt. Sounds like rolling blackouts in California. Well, if you'd like to say something, Roy Nell, <laughs> until he comes back. Okay. Um, we may, it looks like we may have lost him for a second here. So, okay. Um, um, oh, connecting. Well, well, he's connecting. Hopefully his service is working. We might want to tell him to turn off his camera so that, you know, his audio won't freeze up and stuff. Okay. Probably run better. My back. Yeah. Okay, sorry. 
No worries. Um, my Wi-Fi keeps disconnecting. Uh, uh, Satan, you, you heard my opening statement. Could you find some contradiction with your worldview so that we will focus on something to debate? Okay, sorry for um, all that. It could be used to cre uh, create designer babies. This is genetic modification. Where parents can select the traits of their child, leading to a society where people are judged based on their generic ma uh, genetic makeup. Okay. Moreover, uh, genetic manipulation can be used to create a hierarchy of people based on their genetic abilities. Okay, uh, why is that bad? Uh, just, uh, I, I'm not saying that's good, just to understand your posi position better. Why this inequality is bad? I mean, like, uh, people who are smart already like divided from people who are um not smart like mensa and all that stuff and if genetic modification happened uh, to make some people smarter and others not uh, th that division would be uh, greater okay uh, let's say uh, well, let's example. say we, f we permit uh, biohacking, uh, I mean individual biohacking, and permit public research and all that stuff. In this case, uh, uh, knowledge about how to improve yourself and how to improve your uh, children will be much more available for um, uh, poor people. And in this case, you will reduce inequality. So why is that wrong? Because we already say that it has to be regulated and uh, like if we allow it, it has to be regulated because of previous statements we made and uh, now with this division thing, if it is regulated and uh, sorry, I'm losing my point, I'm rambling. <laughs> My, uh, like, uh, what I don't understand, how you do this, uh, um, how you get from uh, uh, we need to forbid biohacking uh, to this will reduce social in, uh, inequality. Uh, in my like understanding of the situation, it is the opposite. When we allow biohacking, we make uh, some kind of public knowledge about how to do improvements to uh, our inheritance. So, uh, how it yes, works. but people would. Um, I'm going to be straight with you. People are stupid. That's why it shouldn't be publicly available. People are stupid. And uh, I don't know if you agree with that, but that's what I think. People are stupid. They're going to use it for stupid stuff. And that's why it should not be made publicly available. That everyone can do it. Um, yeah, mean, but this will reduce social that... inequality, which you were opposed to a few yes, minutes ago. But... Have, have you have you seen uh, the stupid shit people do on uh, Twitter for TikTok challenges? Look. They run away from home. They run away from home, for instance, uh, as a TikTok challenge. The beautiful part here is that uh, natural selection work here. Uh, somebody who do that does mistakes to themselves, they uh, like uh, they they do not. They're much less likely to contribute into Genafont. Uh, I mean, when they do changes to their uh, organism, these contributions are much less likely to be distributed uh, to the society. I mean, that is kind of uh, not right. Like, ethically, 
that is not a right thing to do. Uh, you have to preserve as much a, a, of society as possible. Like, you're not going around and say, kids who run away are stupid, um, uh, the police uh, uh, shouldn't go looking after them because um, it's natural selection. To me, argument that people are stupid is uh, not specific enough. Uh, could you specify uh, risks you want to avoid? Um, stupid things people uh, are going to be able to do, like someone is going to want to make um, their skin glow in the dark, okay. for instance, and then they can have unintended consequences when they do that. Okay, and uh, like... Uh... And, and they can go experimenting outside the boundaries uh, that uh, regulation if there is regulation put for them uh, like for instance they could uh, try to uh, manipulate a gene that uh, hasn't been researched before and then uh, when they manipulated it they can make themselves more susceptible to danger or they could uh, make it so that uh, any diseases they get evolve faster yeah okay but and creating uh... Uh, more we will, dangerous diseases we will get more and more knowledge uh, so more we do this kind of uh, experiments more knowledge we we get and more precise we are in uh, what uh, traits we want to ex uh, to be expressed uh, yes, so, but, yes but leave that up to a scientist then okay but uh, oh My Discord is crashing. Um, yeah, I, I, myself, I agree that better to do much more public research rather than like outside of public research. But uh, this is still an interesting topic. Uh, I kind of uh, do not understand what exactly is the problem because, uh, okay, uh, some Somebody added uh, problems to themselves. Uh, this will be noticed uh, quite soon that this genetic modification leads to these problems. And then uh, this genetic modification will be corrected back uh, because uh, uh, if we advocate for, for genetic modifications, we open ourselves opportunities to fix problems we, we, we made. So uh, what is but, the real problem? Um, I mean, sorry, uh, can I just sorry to interrupt no but no no here in this in this part is what i have a problem with is that uh when someone modifies themselves uh and like stupidly and causing harm they could uh, cause harm to the rest of society you mean because when they will make children with other people who haven't modified themselves, the children the children can inherit yes. bad traits, correct? Yes. Yeah. Not only that, but okay. also like if everyone could modify themselves, then um, it could erode um, genetic v uh, variety. Uh, do you know what? Uh, genetic variety is yeah of course i'm a big fan of biodiversity like, uh, it's, it's the reason it's the reason why we're not allowed uh, to have incestuous uh, relationships because uh, that erodes um, genetic variety uh, oh uh, sorry say again you say we should discourage uh, interracial rel relationships did i hear you correctly How, how no. I no? Not, okay. not, in, not interracial relationships, um, incestual relationships, like a brother and a sister uh, having kids. Uh, sound quality is bad. I, okay. Um, like, that, uh, that will cause um, mutations and uh, stuff. Uh, because there isn't a lot of genetic variety between a brother and a sister. Ah, okay, now, uh, now, I, now I understood, okay. 
Uh, yes. Yeah, but again, genetic modification only increases the amount of uh, possible variations. Uh, so, of course, you can find some successful uh, modifications uh, and they might become popular. But in general, you open like limitless um, uh, field for different experimentations and enriching our uh, genophone. Uh, and even um, uh, let, let's ro roll back uh, um, yeah, about children yeah. and uh, the bad traits we can uh, then uh, like preserve. Uh, as I was saying, uh, when you do uh, genetic modification and you inherit some bad unintentional problems, uh, most likely problems uh, will be diagnosed uh, in some medical facility uh, as uh, caused by these uh, uh, genetic modifications if we don't forbid this kind of uh, activity and research. Uh, that these children could be fixed. The, the genes could be just uh, switched back to, uh, to remove the bad gene. So why is that problem? Um. Just a second, let me go okay. sit down. I got um, told to go away from there where I sat. Um, I'm going to stand here. So, um, I mean, if peop a lot of people are doing the same genetic modifications, say making you... Um, yeah, I understand the thing about like, diversity. Let's uh, discuss it later. Let's just finish the children if, thing if first. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about diversity. If, um, if a lot of people make the same genetic modifications, then uh, those genes that they are modifying to do the same thing, like uh, modify it, uh, that no, uh, no, no one is uh, that no one is susceptible to cancer. That that gene that he, uh, caused a genetic variety is then removed, and the more genes they uh, modify to do the same thing the more genes are going to be the same and uh, that will uh, erode variety yeah i understand this argument uh, uh let's discuss it after children so we, we have two things uh, you say that we can uh, inherit bad traits uh, in i mean children can inherit bad traits and i i tried to argue that and then you say it decreases the variety I can argue that. L let's finish with children. I'm saying that even if you inherit some bad trait, you can fix it afterwards if you do not discourage genetic manipulation uh, so that medical facilities has enough knowledge to and fix this. Yes, but why if uh, those kids are then immune to something like CRISPR? Uh, I don't think you can be immune to CRISPR. <laughs> uh, I mean, like... Uh, I mean, you could be immune to anything, any kind of treatment. Uh, well, if you like replace your DNA with something else, maybe. But uh, I understand that... Maybe I'm wrong, I'm not a specialist here, but I understand that CRISPR is pretty universal uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, it can change basically any DNA. So while you contain your information in DNA, you could be changed with CRISPR. And CRISPR is only like the first tool. I, I, I think there will be more sophisticated tools if we permit uh, genetic modification research.
Okay. Um, okay. Another, um, sorry. Another note I had about your opening statement. Um, you said, uh, like, we are already manipulating genetics by, uh, in animals, for instance, by uh, letting a better animal mate with better animals and uh, uh, weaker animals uh, go off. And same with plants. Um, it's basically what um, modification in animals. Um, what I wanted to say is the natural genetic modification, that's what I call that, um, is different because um, you're not modifying the code of the animal uh, like yourself, like... Um, you do. Can I, can I explain it as a program? Sorry? Can I explain it as a program? As a program? Okay. Um, let's say an AI wrote a program that is our genes. And uh, those programs can be um, combined or they can be uh, separated on different levels. Um, that's okay. Uh, but change the legacy code of the program then um, a lot of bugs and errors can occur does that make sense uh not exactly so first of all uh, you do you are not limited by uh, dna of your parents you uh, you have random mutations uh, and yes. uh, so uh, and when you do uh, selection of animals you kind of uh, select which random mutations you like and not just uh, you rely on some randomness to create uh, these uh, changes uh, in case of in genetic engineering you uh, with surgical precision can choose what exactly change do you need so this is like the major difference here uh, and uh, yes, but we do not know yeah? enough about genetics we do not know enough about genetics um, we, uh, as far as we know, we only have uh, 23 genes and um, scientists have said they think there are more. I think it's 23. Um, Am I uh, correct uh, that number? I, I, I do not think so. I think you, you, you are thinking about chromosomes. But, okay. Um, and even if we put animals aside, I also said that we already terminate the vast majority of uh, pregnancies in uh, like developed countries. If we suspect some genetic disorders like uh, uh, Down syndrome or something like that. Yes, but that's not modifying genes really. Yeah, we just exclude specific uh, gene from our genophone. But uh, we... Um... We do that to avoid the child suffering, mostly. Okay, can we use uh, genetic modification to cure cancer, to cure, cure HIV, herpes? We do not yet know. We don't have that technology yet. We kind of... <sighs> kind of do. If I remember correctly, there was research uh, which successfully uh, cured uh, cancer uh, with targeted uh, uh, cure for specific uh, I don't remember who it was either mouse or maybe human I don't remember exactly sorry but we, we already have this kind of technology if I remember correctly um, gene transfer is a new treatment modality that introduces new genes into a cancer cell or the surrounding tissue to cause cell death or slow the growth of the cancer basically the treatment uh, uh, the, the cure I, I was reading about uh, it helps our immune system to recognize cancer cells uh, by changing these cancer cells uh, and 
after that our organism can fight it um okay yes yeah, do you so have any uh thing do you have anything about my opening statement uh well, the problem is uh, your initial statement uh, to open the debates was genetic manipulation is wrong. It is a very generic uh, statement and I was, go I was going to argue that. But uh, in your opening statement, you said that genetic man uh, manipulation requires regulation. And I mostly agree with that. Uh, I disagree with the amount of regulation. Uh, you basically... Uh, forbid anything but uh, some small things. Uh, I actually think that uh, um, we should uh, apply the, the opposite approach. We should uh, basically forbid all but things we know are bad. Uh, so I guess here our major difference is. Uh, yeah, for example, I have no strong opinion about biohacking. Should we forbid it or not? You say we should, if I understand correctly. I, I think uh, um, that biohacking actually mitigates the risk, risks you stated in your open statement, for, uh, uh, such as uh, social inequality, such as unknown risks, because when we do this Kind of research we gather more and more public knowledge about uh, genetic manipulation of our bodies uh, so Ge genetic manipulation is a, a relatively new damn it what's the word technology relatively new technology. thing okay yes it's a uh, relatively new things so we do not know uh, some risks we do not know about can uh, occur okay um they uh, like in anything anything new there are risks that we do not know about that can occur and like uh, it's playing with fire um disconnected yeah i'm here again um uh, we can all... i use an old debate because i'm losing my uh, uh, sense here so this um, again can i like read what can i uh, use an old debate i used ah okay you you want to read something if if, if you do it, then okay yes Changing the genetics of someone is dangerous. Yeah, it might prevent cancer, but it can only um, make other... Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. It, uh, it might prevent cancer, but it make, um, can make other diseases deadly, like the common cold. Because changing the genetics is, uh, not only changes how the virus acts in your body, it also uh, also changes how its cure works, making the cure for the cold ineffective. And you can replace any illness in that scenario, the malaria, black plague, cowpox. But using robotics, oh, okay, this is a different part of the debate. Um, I then went on to say it's just too risky and dangerous and um, the problem is other guys said other guys said uh, genetic editing for cosmetic reasons would open uh, open up a whole world of terror fashion and body terrains are already very powerful and can lead to negativity um, and uh, that reinforces my statement, but uh, my argument only applied to some cases. The problem here is you say there are risks. I say there is a way to handle risks. And uh, I, I do not get answer on my argument that we can handle these risks. Uh, as I said before, if we 
uh, encourage uh, genetic modifications, then we will get enough tools and knowledge to fix uh, mistakes we do. So, for example, if there is some malicious gene we introduced, uh, we can just reverse it. So, what is the problem? Why do you think we cannot revert it? I mean, for now, it's impossible to revert anything. I I don't know. Uh, I have an impression. It could be a false impression, but I have an impression that uh, those biohackers, they basically do the changes in their uh, organisms for free basically so they uh, use uh, their own blood and crispr and some external source of uh, genes to introduce changes to themselves and this is like doable uh, by any person in their garage so it's not like uh, rocket science or whatnot I mean, if you know I mean, what exactly you need to do, it's easy to do. Feel free to argue that um, I might be wrong, of course. No, um, only things I basically know about um, genetic manipulation is a series I saw a while ago um, and it seemed pretty cool on the surface but it's also very dangerous another point I wanted to bring up sorry that I'm bringing up so many points but um, another point I wanted to bring up is bio, bio warfare okay. it, um, like it's too dangerous people can use it for bio warfare and um, that's just a whole lot of danger we're not ready for. The problem is CRISPR is already there. Uh, it means that any bioterrorist may uh, do their research mo no matter what. You can forbid it, you can not forbid it, but the uh, components are so widely available that you cannot forbid illegal activity in this area. So the best way to uh, like mitigate risks uh, of bioterror is to encourage, to embrace biomodification research and biohacking and that stuff. This way we will have uh, protection ag against bioterrorism. Because the, uh, the series I saw, the one guy uh, used genetic modification, I think the uh, series I'm talking about is Biohackers, the series. Um, the one guy modified mosquitoes to be extremely dangerous, one bite and you're dead. And, um, like, how are you going to fight that in, uh, uh, in bio warfare? It's almost impossible to fight such a thing. I, I agree, this is a real danger, and what I'm saying is to uh, get prepared to this danger, we need to do as much research, uh, as much, uh, like, not as much, but a lot of research. And, of course, it makes sense to, like, teach people, like, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't like you do that. Uh, like, uh, if you want to do some biohacking, then please do it on some... Uh, in the, in some safe way so we need not to forbid but to direct people into uh, like more useful activity uh, but if you would say this is wrong and we should forbid it at all then in this case bioterrorists will continue their research but good people would not continue research and we will not have a protection we will not have knowledge how to fix what bioterrorists will do Please tell me, what was your uh, field of expertise again? I'm a physicist and I work in IT. You're very good, uh, good at debate, I have to say that. Uh, um, yeah, I well, wasn't guys. properly equipped. I'm not properly 
prepared for that, okay? Well, it was fun. We, we, we are very close to 11. Uh, it's been a couple of hours. Um, if you guys would like to start wrapping it up, um, since Satan opened first, if Voidno would like to make his closing statement first, have at it. Oh, uh, my closing statement first. Well, you did your opening first, so we were going to let Voidnil go first on the closing statement. Ah, sorry, uh, I misunderstood. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, my closing statement, what would it be? Um, yeah, okay. I think that... Uh, I thought they... Sorry, sorry. Isn't... Um... Uh, Q a before opening statement? No, the Q&A comes after your guys' closing of your argument. Then we will have Q&A. Um, I don't see any... I, I haven't found any questions that are tagging you guys yet. I'm, I'm looking. Okay. Um, I think that we sh should not only be cautious about genetic manipulation, but also about forbidden genetic manipulation, because uh, it is a very powerful and very useful for hu the humanity tool. And moreover, as I said in the opening statement, this is our future no matter what. So the, the only thing we can uh, control is how we will meet this future. Would it be accessible only by bad people or we would do our own research as uh, we, we, we think of ourselves as, as morally good people, right? Uh, so I think um, that we need to create guidelines about what is good uh, in my, uh, my genetic mani modification and what is not. And uh, like, I, I agree that uh, there are very important risks which we need to mitigate. Uh, but reality is so that CRISPR is there and we need to address that. And we cannot address that by just stating that genetic manipulation is wrong and should forbid it for everybody. But uh, yeah, I guess that's my cl closing statement. Well, thank you very much, Void. Now, now, if Satan would like to make a closing statement, have at it. Um, sorry, my uh, computer is glitching for now. Um, what I... Uh, mistake I made was that I uh, made the topic genetic manipulation is wrong. Uh, what I actually meant it uh, is that it's uh, risky and dangerous. That was the topic I wanted to uh, discuss. I've forgotten stuff. Um, my laptop is lagging. Well, I, I still don't see any questions from the audience, so maybe I'll ask you guys one. It seems like all technology that we have, from to medical to genetic manipulation, has its good and bad. Um, what could we do to get risk to a minimum? Well, my opinion that we do we should do exactly what we do right now we should discuss it we should uh, uh, like um it shouldn't like go under radar uh, people should be aware of what is happening and they should express their uh, concerns as uh, satan does uh, so that uh, scientists do not miss anything and in the end of the day uh, as uh, uh, satan uh, said in his opening state it makes sense to have uh, some committees which helps to consolidate a lot of opinions together and create a consensus as it was done for global warming for example or climate change in modern terms uh for, for um, yes sorry. um what i want to say about uh, your point of making um genetic manipulation more publicly available like all biohackers can do it and stuff um that's the same as uh, saying um the gun debate like allowing everyone to carry a gun is going to um mitigate the risks of uh, terrorists carrying guns 
It's uh, pretty much the same principle. I, I, for a second, I was agree. This is indeed an interesting argument. But then I realized it is not because uh, bullets are very limited in how they fly. Uh, so basically, the danger uh, propagates only uh, to some radius of some uh, malfactor. While in bioterrorism, uh, the teract could be initiated Bio from anywhere. Uh, but I mean, uh, for for betting, um, like everyone to uh, do bio uh, bio oh, genetic modification can prevent uh, bio ter terrorism in the sense of it's going to make a terrorist uh, time harder of learning how to modify genes. I disagree. Uh, there is a lot of countries that, that will not forbid it anyway. Uh, maybe because they hate uh, the Western world or whatnot. They may, might have different reasons. And the fact that you would forbid genetic research in your territory doesn't make you safe from uh, some genetic modified whatnot from another country. This is one problem. Another is uh, even if uh, with weapons, uh, when you forbid it, you can enforce it. You see people with weapons or whatnot. With the uh, genetic manipulation, it is much harder to enforce it. So only morally good people who are lawful uh, would not use genetic manipulation, and we would research. Uh, we would uh, lose only the good part of research, while bad people um, will continue to do their uh, stuff. Um, what I wanted to say is that you can you can detect um, genetic manipulation people that do it illegally um, by the same way that we find out that people are making meth for instance um, you can like a meth lab has the distinct uh, characteristics of a meth lab the same thing goes for gene therapy um, or, is gene therapy and genetic manipulation the same thing? Uh, let's say so. Uh, I'm not a specialist here. I think, yeah, I'm not a specialist either. <laughs> so, but uh, um, okay. But a a gene therapy lab would uh, also have the distinct characteristics of a gene therapy lab and encouraging people to um, report it. Uh, also helps the problem uh, so with meth the problem is you need to produce a lot of meth so you create a lot of chemical trail uh, which is visible uh, even from drones uh, uh, with the uh, biohacking you don't need that you need like micrograms of your product and this could change the whole world uh, so no i don't think the same way would work actually also so, uh, making the chemicals uh, used in gene therapy restricted can also, um, could also work like restricting gene therapy for the public. Uh. Again, the problem is the technology is too available. You you cannot uh, just elim eliminate it. Uh, so when you do forbid it, you only take out uh, conscious lawful people, while ad other people will continue to do that, and you cannot enforce it. And, and that seems like a really nice segue into our next audience question, okay. if you guys are ready. Yep. All right. Um, Pensive Bread asks, um, should the technology be available commercially or strictly controlled by the government? At the very least, it should be controlled by the government. Um, let's palm your mic is off. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I think government should uh -oh. spend a lot of efforts on uh, creating s standards, guidelines, uh, public research and all that stuff to uh, help guide uh, commercial sector. And I think government should be very proactive on forbidding uh, very dangerous uh, pro things to do. So they should uh, be 
for uh, like they should forbid forbid certain types of modifications. Yes, yeah, so they should forbid certain types of modifications and be very proactive on that. Uh, but in general, I think that commercial genetic modification should exist. And but we should start with baby steps. Right now we should start with something uh, extremely well known to be safe. Then uh, let's see uh, how it works. Uh, like changing air color. Sorry? Like changing air color. I don't know. Let scientists decide what is safe, what is not. Uh, then, uh, when it uh, goes well, we can uh, do a, a, a additional baby step and uh, like allow more things in commercial uh, commercial area. And our final goal should be so that the whole genetic modif modification goes in commercial sector. We just need to go there smoothly, slowly, gradually. Um. Yes, um, I understand that, like, um, but there are governments that are not going to follow that. Like, I mean, uh, can I take South Africa as an example? Um, for years, they've said uh, they have, um, okay, this is not scientific research, this is uh, economy. Um, sorry, I think there, there is difference, but I'm just making an analogy. Okay. Um, for years, they've been making plans to uh, uh, like gr uh, make the economy stronger and everything, but uh, they don't really follow the plans. Like uh, they have, they have uh, something in South Africa called debt counseling i don't know if it's in other countries as well but uh, debt counseling is like uh, someone is advising you uh, how to uh, minimize your debt and uh, clear up your debt uh, now south africa is basically in debt counseling but they don't follow the guidelines set for them and keep uh, borrowing more money and borrowing more money and um, the same thing uh, could happen to uh, genetic modification. The countries say uh, we are going to uh, release this step by step in a plan, a step by step plan, but uh, then uh, it gets released by some scientist that works there uh, illegally, for example everything gets released all at once uh sorry do i understand your argument correctly that you're saying uh that there could be mistakes in the regulation uh, or we might not yes. be able to enforce these regulations or yes uh yeah, I agree. There could could be, uh, of course, such kind of problems. But uh, in the end of the day, we need to put trust into something. And if we say that state is not capable to anything, then the whole discussion doesn't make sense because any uh, regulation we want to enforce would not work. Uh, I'm saying that uh, what the path I propose, in my opinion, is the least riskier one. Uh, that, that's what I say. But yes, there are still risks. But in eventuality, my opinion, this is just an opinion, this isn't a fact, is that society is not ready for the technology. We are not ready for the technology. Maybe in a hundred years when we are more understanding of uh, social inequality and stuff, maybe then. For now, society is not ready for the technology. The technology is already there, so we cannot just not accept this fact. You know, like uh, uh, grief stages, uh, the, the last one is acceptance. We need to accept this fact and deal with this. Uh, and the way to deal with this is not rejecting this, but to uh, direct it. I think we should wrap up uh, because we are uh, kind of out of our regulament. Uh, do we have more questions? Um, we, we do not have any more questions ah, currently okay. from the audience. I kind of wish there were. I, I think this, this debate may have been a little too intellectual for them. I don't know. 
I think we just should have clarified our positions before these debates better so that uh, well, yeah. I don't know if this was your first debate for both of you, but you did just fine. I mean, um, excuse me, what did you say? Me or I need to. I, I don't think I He's did back. very well. Oh, you did. You did just fine. Um, but you know, and if, if it was like your first debate, then this is consider it a practice debate. Um, you'll be better prepared for the next one, right? Yeah. But awesome. Um, I'm. I'm really uh, like. Uh, I really thought I was properly prepared for this debate. And um, Void Neil actually showed me that I don't know a lot about uh, genetic modification and um, how it is yeah. currently. So thank you, Void Neil. You, uh, this was a learning opportunity, and uh, that is actually what debates are about to be a learning opportunity for the people listening to debates. And I learned something today. Yeah, likewise. Thank you. Uh... It was fun. Well, yeah, as was. just as moderator, as the moderator, just sitting here listening to you guys debate, I also learned some things. So, hey, you educated all of us. <laughs> and I'd like to thank you both very much. This was a very, I think it was a good debate. And you know, with a little practice, we'll all get better, including me. Um, yeah, well, um, since we don't have any more audience questions, I will take this opportunity um, to wrap I this up. Can I want to say I'm sorry? I know there are a lot. Of, uh, there were a lot of fallacies in my arguments, so I'm just sorry for that. Uh, I I didn't feel uh, like we both were not in terms of formal debate. So, uh, and I didn't feel any bad faith in like your position. So. Yes, yeah, um, but it. a fallacy, a fallacy is an invalid argument. Yeah, I know. I also did fallacies. I, I mean, we genuinely tried to express our position, so I don't think there are any problems. Yes. Well, I'm sure that you're both familiar with the fallacy fallacy, right? Which means that maybe you maybe you made your point with a fallacy, but that doesn't mean that your point is wrong. So yes. Yeah. Actually, I, that's well, a I'd like really to... that's. That's a really good point. I have to use it in my uh, debate groups. Okay. Well, hopefully, we will be having we will be having a fallacy show where we will be going over individual logical fallacies, and uh, we would like to probably do that weekly if possible. So feel free to take part because they will be panel type shows. Uh, fallacy shows. Yeah, we're gonna really? discuss. We're gonna we're we're gonna discuss logical fallacies. We're gonna start with like straw man and the two quoque and a few others that are really easy, and then we're gonna progress into the harder ones. I, I have a website for you guys then, a fallacy website. Well, drop us a link in the chat. We appreciate it. Well, I'm gonna close. Okay. I'm gonna close this up today, and then we can just go into an open chat if we want to. But I'd like to thank you all for coming today, and I hope that you enjoyed our show. If either debater would like to do a little self-promotion, now's your chance. If you have a channel or a website of your own that you'd like to promote, uh, I created, I uh, created a, a Reddit account for ChatGPT. Um, it's ChatGPT underscore bot. If you want to check it out, and uh, if you ever want to uh, have a question or on Reddit or something. Uh, you can just uh, tag it with mentioning the username u slash chatgpt underscore bot. Nice. Anything void now? No, thank you. Thank you for the debates. Thank All you right. for hosting. Bye. All right. Well, thank like you for the debate. Coming. I loved it.